Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? In today's video, we got Malika Andrews snitching on Jalen Rose. Now, this is just a rumor report. So I'm not put two and two together, bro. And the reason why I feel like Malika Andrews snitched on Jalen Rose to ESPN is because Jalen Rose was talking about the Emmy Adoka situation again, right? And he pretty much said what everybody else has been saying. Stephen A. Smith even said this on a breakfast club. And Kendrick Perkins also said the same thing as well. So y'all got to remember, I did a video, I think about a month ago, how ESPN gave Malika Andrews promotion. I'll have that in the description box or whatever, or you may see it pop up right now. But I said they gave her the hosting job on NBA Countdown. And guess what show that this was on NBA Countdown. and Jalen Rose said this on NBA Countdown about the Emmy Adoka suspension. Here's a video. And, and by the way, to piggyback off Stephen A's point about um, what e -May did, we know his name. Uh, maybe I'm missing something as it relates to the law, but why we don't know her name? It's not like she's a minor. I feel like we should know her name publicly as well. But with that being said, I respectfully disagree with the legend Michael Wilbon. This is why. I feel like he deserves the opportunity to work again. Okay, so a lot of y'all may be like, well, that's, that has nothing to do with Malika Andrews. Well, okay, let's rewind again and go back to what she said to Stephen A. Smith. Listen closely, guys. Here's the video. Stephen A. Smith destroys Malika Andrews. Here's the short version of this video. Let's get into it. Stephen A. Smith and Malika Andrews is talking about the Ime Yudoka suspension. Stephen A., with all due respect, this is not about pointing the finger. Stop. The fact that we are sitting here debating whether somebody else should have been suspended or not, we are not here, Stephen A., to further blame women. That is not why we are here. Stephen A. Smith was caught off guard by her feminist comments. And this is what Stephen A. Smith had to say. Let me be very clear. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. I'm not blaming anybody but Ime Udoka. The point that I'm trying to make is just like you you're not mentioning. Excuse, me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I listened to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. Malika Andrews got destroyed, in my opinion. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, y'all heard her say, we are not here to no longer further blame women. So then now, we got to rewind just a little bit, just a little bit ago, when Emmy Yadoka was runner-up for the next job. And this is what Malika Andrews had to say about Yadoka. Here's There's a video. There's a word that Shanae used that's just rattling around in my brain, accountability. I'm not sure how that gets grasped back for Brooklyn. Uh, because it, it's not lost on me that Ime Yudoka has done incredible things with the Boston Celtics. But it just seems like if we're having this conversation about Ime Yudoka being hired by Brooklyn, where he was an assistant coach, Accountability is the word I keep coming back to. Where is the accountability to women in the NBA? Zach, what do you make of this? Look, at the end of the day, very few people, I believe, are beyond redemption. And I'm not saying that that's the scenario here. But what I am saying is I sincerely hope that when we talk about due diligence and vetting, the Brooklyn Nets are taking into account multiple voices on this and who could be affected because we know that this is going to be ongoing. And I want to know this, Malika is the only one still bringing up the Udoka situation. She's like he needs to be held accountable and she's reintroducing accountability over and over as if he wasn't held accountable. She's acting like he broke the law or something. Listen, Malika, he had consensual relations with a woman. Both of them broke the rules, but only one of them fined. Only one of them had their pay impacted. Only one was suspended from their job. Only one was publicly humiliated, not just within the industry, but on national television. Okay, so y'all heard her say, you know, accountability. I just did that video a couple days ago on my YouTube channel. So if you put two and two together, Malika Andrews is the host. On NBA countdown now you know she's one of the hosts and ESPN is trying to prop this woman up and this support womanhood shit on ESPN and this feminist stuff right so Jalen Rose how dare you Jalen Rose come on ESPN and say how come the woman is not being identified now see Stephen A. Smith said that on the breakfast club that's cool you know what I mean other than that Stephen A. Smith 
haven't really said nothing about the situation anymore. Besides when everything came out, he was very critical about how Boston blasted his personal business. Even a Smith said that, you know, this is like everyday average Joe stuff that happens in the league. You don't hear too much about it. You'll just hear that the coach was fired and they'll be able to go find another job somewhere else. Right. So me putting two and two together, I guarantee Malika Andrews text somebody and was like, oh my God, Jalen Rose has said this. We're not supposed to hear the blame women on our platform. And y'all just gave me this new NBA hosting job, NBA countdown. You know what I mean? I guarantee she did that. You know, um, and then Jalen Rose had to come back instantly after commercial break. And here's what Jalen Rose had to say after he said that on NBA countdown about Emmy Adoka. Here's the video. I'm Jalen Rose, and I would like to apologize for a comment I made earlier on NBA countdown. I question why a woman's name who had an alleged affair with Celtics head coach Ime Adoka was not made public. After an internal investigation, and it was discovered that she was a subordinate to the head coach, I now understand fully why her name should not be released to the public. Now back to our NBA coverage. So yeah, man, as y'all can see, Jalen Rose had to quickly come out, do a new apology video after Malika Andrews allegedly snitched on him. So that's all I got for y'all in today's video, man. It's just a rumor report, self-talk rumor report. And yeah, man, um, this is all alleged, not a real story. Just something that I put together. Yeah. With that being said, that's all I got for y'all in today's video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Self-talk news. I'll holler at y'all, man. Salute.